What's going on, y'all? Alex checking in. I'm doing a video on moving averages, and uh, we're going to break down what moving averages are. I put a document in the group already, really breaking down moving averages. I'm just going to show you how you can use the different moving averages. Um, I got a pretty small here. I got to shrink this up a little bit if I can get into my into my uh, minimize and maximize window on the swim platform. I'm looking at AUD USD, which is a currency pair. Uh, I got the day chart up. We're going to go to a smaller time frame, just uh, 30 minutes. Boom. Now we're gonna put up the uh we're gonna put up a simple moving average. To put up moving averages and uh we'll pull up the simple moving average. Boom. That's a simple moving average. It follows the uh link. Uh you can go right into the study and you see it's a nine day nine period moving average. Closes at the uh it closes every time it moves, it closes. On the close of the price, so now you can change the length of the prices by you know clicking on here, clicking on that. But that's that, that's the default uh, length. And that's what the simple will look like. All right, let me take that off. We'll remove our studies. Boom. We'll go to a. We'll go to a uh, exponential moving average. And it's right here. Boom. You see the difference? Can you see the difference between both of them? I know they're the same color, but let's see. It may see the difference. I might go back to the simple. See where it did is drop off here. It starts moving pretty fast. You can see that it moves down. All right. Let's see. We'll put a uh, we'll put a simple up here as well. You can see the difference between the two. This one is the this is the uh, exponential, and this is the simple. See the difference? The exponential took a longer longer a longer dip, as you can see. Matter of fact, I'm gonna change the color so we can know the difference between both of them. Change the simple color to another color. You just choose yellow. Boom. And that's the simple. It took a, a longer dip. See, this was a lot quicker. It noticed the turn. It noticed, it noticed the turn in the market in the price action a lot quicker. So it turned a lot, a lot quicker. So that's why they say it's a little bit faster than the simple. In the uh, in the uh, in the notes I sent, I put in the group. So you can see the difference in, in between both of them. Now you could change these and uh see this is when this is a short time frame, which is which both of them have been. They're both, I think, both at nine and a nine day uh period, nine period. So that that means this is a fast moving average. It changes with the price. But watch what happens when I move the uh simple to a longer uh Time frame, which is get, you know consolidate some of the uh, up and down movement, which is you know within the trend. So move the simple to a longer time frame. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna make it to a 24 uh, uh, period. Watch what happens. Give you more straight line on on the movement of the trend movement. We shrink this up. You can see it on the on the movement. Boom. I'm gonna bring a hole in here. We're gonna we're gonna bring the whole moving average in and show you how it moves. I'm gonna use a, a bigger time frame on the hole from its default price default uh settings. Watch what happens. I'm gonna bring in the hole. Let's do it like this. Standard quick study. We're gonna go to, uh, quick studies. We're gonna go to moving averages. I'm gonna bring in the whole moving average. Boom. All right. Now you can see the difference between the whole. The whole changes color on up and down movement. But as, we, as you can see, 
this is an uptrend at this low point right here. It's been since this low point hit this low, it's been moving up. It's been moving up. It done came down. It went up, moved up and down. Of course, the market that's what it does. It moves up and down. That's what the market does. That's what it does. But you see, it went all the way up to a high, to a high. So now watch how I change this to a bigger price and you got a bigger uh period and watch the difference in what happens. I'm gonna change the whole and we'll edit studies for the whole that's the uh, default setting is twenty. And we're gonna change this to a uh I'm taking it to a two hundred day a two hundred period moving average. Apply boom as you can see what happened. It shrunk up it shrunk up the movements you can catch the movements when they go down. And you can see when they're going up. Really I'm gonna, I'm gonna change this to a, another time frame, a bigger time frame, a bigger period on the whole and watch what happens. I'm gonna change this to a four hundred. And I'm gonna go to a, a different uh time frame. I'm gonna change the, the size of the, the size of the line. Or my my length will be a little bit bigger, the width of my line bigger. Move it to a three. Boom. So I'm gonna do. Boom. Boom. Really not. Now it notices the complete uptrend, so you know that's an uptrend. You know it's an uptrend. I had a few uh, marks right here. I'm gonna change it where though you're not gonna see that the downtrend movement right here, which would change colors. And I'm gonna change that to we can't see that. We got a 425. All right, we're gonna okay that. We're gonna apply that. We should shrink it up a little bit. Uh, I guess I gotta go to a bigger, uh, higher period on that. Let's see. Go to 450. Okay that. Apply that. Um, we got to live with that. All right, I'm gonna go to a, a bigger time frame, to an hour, and now you can see the movement. No matter what what month you in or whatever, it's gonna always show the high time frame or whatever time chart you put it on. It'll change the time chart anytime, and it's gonna and it's gonna these settings are gonna remain the same. So boom, I got we have all the moving averages on the chart. We have our whole moving average, as you can see, it came up, it went up, changed color on the down, that's what that's what the whole moves, moves do. And it's a lot quicker, it's a lot quicker than both the uh, simple and exponential. Boom, hit a low over here, boom, it started up an uptrend. So this is basically, if you're doing binary contracts or even regular forex, you know, this line turns, this line turns purple, you know, from now on, you're doing sell orders. You're gonna catch a major movement on sell orders. So boom. Oh, that's uh if you you know if you're doing other binaries, you know, you're doing puts. And you're doing calls or buy orders. You buy orders. Every time you want to do you don't wanna you don't wanna catch you can you can catch these movements, but you know they're high risk because you know it's gonna reverse on you. So we're gonna go to a shorter time frame. Look at look at on the 15 minute chart. See what happens. Boom. So you know it's going down. So come uh, Sunday evening, Monday morning, you know the market is in a continuation of down movement. We look at a higher time frame on a day chart. You know it's still moving up. You know it's still moving up. No matter what it does, you know it's going to move up. Let's go to the hour chart, four and a half, four hour chart. Still in the move up position. You know it's in the up position. It's a good thing about uh, moving averages. You can, especially the whole, you know what's going on with the uh, positions. Of the trend of the trend of the market. Which is cool. That's the good thing about using moving averages. You know, you can find out what's really going on with the uh, market. So it's not a guessing game. It's not uh something you're not gambling. This is not a gamble. This is 
is what technical analysis is for. It's for you to be technical with the market and you can you're not gonna predict the market, but you want to be able to uh you know, catch the wave. You just catch the wave. You don't go against the trend, you go you, you trade with the trend. Okay, so that's that's the thing you need to learn to do. In any market you're doing, if you're doing any type of trader, you need to trade with the trend, don't go against the current. You're gonna current. You go with the currents. You everybody know you're gonna drown. So that that applies to the market. But uh, this is moving averages. Um, I'd like you to look at the doc that I have in here and the group. But uh, I guess I I can go to show you the doc. So what are moving averages? A widely used indicator in technical analysis that helps smooth out price action by filtering out the noise from the random price fluctuation. So the noise, what he's talking about, they're talking about, is uh, the up and down movements in the what, the what the candles represent is the price action. That is the noise of the market. That's the stuff that dukes out people in the market. This is all the noise. This is all noise right here. All the up and down movements. Let's zoom in and show you the noise. This is the noise of the market. You see those red candles. You think you let's go uh we're gonna go to a shorter time frame. Go uh let's say you've been you're in a uh, two hour trade. You did a sell order. You did a sell order somewhere somewhere up in here, you did a sell order. So you after this you know it hit a sell order, but it moved up. This is noise that's gonna scare you out of a trade because you think it's gonna make make continue to go up. Little do you know this move was going to about to happen and it failed tremendously. That's a good move. That's a good deal. But the noise would, the noise would have scared you. Let's see, let's look at it on the five minute chart. Same move. Oh, look at the five minute, huh? Let's shrink this up. This is, this is the noise in the market. So an average move, a moving, a moving average is a trend following or lagging indicator because it's based on past price. So we have three types of moving averages. These are the types. Exponential, simple, and whole. I'm not going to go through all this stuff and read everything for y'all. It's in the group. You have to, you know, you have to read it yourself and learn. You don't do that. You don't read it for yourself. You're obviously not motivated to learn and trade. Okay, I have pictures, you know, showing everything. Boom. Go back in the group, take a look at it. But this is the uh, different moving averages out here. Take a read, you know, try it out for yourself. You know, um, use MT4 platform, use the MT4 as well. They're there. I do have my MT4. Let's go to MT4. I do have that up. My Metatrader 4. Let's see if I can find these in, in, on these charts. So I, have these, I have a whole moving average on this chart. And exponential. Got in this trade a little too early, but I'm gonna wait wait to hit bottom and uh and let let it come back up. So y'all see a trade in there, it's, it's in there, it's losing right now. But no stress for me. I know that for know that much because I can go to this uh month chart and know I'm wait I'm waiting for it to hit this red line. I made it late, but that's what happened. So we go back to the hour chart. So I'm gonna let this let this continue to go down. But uh, these are these are exponentials. I used um, three exponentials of moving averages, which is called EMAs. So I use three of them, and uh, I use different time frames. We're gonna check it out real quick. Uh, we get a list. We go to that. I use a twenty.